the partisanship, especially on the federal level. People are sick and tired of it. It's about trust, and I think with all that's going on at the national level with the rancor and, and political discourse, uh, Charlie Baker is a refreshing voice, a refreshing leader uh, during these times. D.C. is a toxic place right now. D.C. is broken. Massachusetts is not broken because of Governor Baker. I've known Charlie Baker for 20 years. Uh, I don't view him as a Republican. I don't think he'd use me as a Democrat. I'm a lifelong Democrat, and I just think that the Commonwealth is in a position right now that we're going in a good direction, and we got to stay in that direction. It was easy for me to support Charlie Baker as a Democratic mayor in Lawrence because I see the work he does and I see how seriously he takes the job. And my community needs people in office that first and foremost want to solve problems. I grew up in a Democratic family. I love this person. And who is that person? It's my Republican governor. They don't have an R at the end of their initials. And they don't have a D. They don't have an I. They have H. You know what H is? Human. I'm a Democrat and I will always be a Democrat. And the work that they have accomplished, there's no question that I would support this administration and re-election. It doesn't matter if you have a D or an R after your name. As I like to say, Governor Baker is a no-nonsense governor. He goes right in there, rolls up his sleeves, he listens. They elect you in office to get things done. And Governor Baker has done a wonderful job of being bipartisan. They certainly have won me over. Charlie Baker is a breath of fresh air. And a very proud Democrat, but I am supporting Charlie Baker and Karen Polito. I'm a proud Democrat, and I am even more proud to support Charlie Baker and Karen Polito. I'm Dominic Sarno, Mayor of Springfield, proud Democrat, voting for Charlie Baker. I'm Tom Koch, Mayor of the great city of Quincy, and I'm voting for Charlie Baker and Karen Polito.